Hi, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. Welcome. Today we're going to be doing a shop with me at Joann's, looking at some new yarns that I haven't seen in person before. Okay, the first one is by KNC Knit and Crochet, and this is Pixel 100% Wool. It's a six weight. Now these two KNC yarns are very interesting. You're going to see what I mean here. This is a roving style, like loosely spun yarn that goes from about a three to a six-ish, kind of a light six. This one reminds me of uh, a coffee milk. High five down below if you know what coffee milk is. Oh, Portabella, I like your naming, KNC. Okay, super denim world here. Um, this was not the softest yarn. This is Mood Indigo. This was not the roughest yarn, it was okay. It's not the first thing I'd reach for though. Ooh. Hazelnut, that's what it reminds me of. Arabian Spice, so they all have the same off-white base yarn. And then you'll see in a moment why they went with this color scape once I get to the second yarn. Ooh, golden yellow, very nice. Like a peachy color or a light pink. What do we got here? Ooh, solid blush. Uh, Joann's has definitely been hitting out of the park with uh, limited edition yarns compared to Michael's recently. What's up, Michael's question mark? Hashtag where's the yarn? Olive, very nice. Let me know down below which one of these is your favorite color. It's like a rain cloud. Titanium. And this is me filming at the Good Joann's, as I like to call it. My filming location in Attleboro, Mass. I highly suggest if you haven't been here that you go check it out. This is Nordic, the other one. This is 43 yards, 100% wool. Does that color look familiar? Hmm. Also a six weight. Uh, to be honest with you, as soon as I saw this yarn, I thought, oh, that looks like the stuff that mom used to put on my ponytails in the 80s, but in vibrant colors. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, child of the 80s, 70s. You know what I mean. Does this color look familiar? Oh, it should, because that's mood indigo. Let me grab it for a comparison. Here we go. So what they basically did is they took the same dye lot here, and they colored both yarns. 100,000% uh, sure that's what they did. Not sure why, because I wouldn't use these in a project together. Maybe they're just looking to stretch a dollar, which I appreciate. What do you guys think? I totally want to get this on clearance and put it in my daughter's pigtails. Just for shit. Just for uh, giggles. What do you guys think? Pumpkins! It's pumpkin time. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my deals, steals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. Okay, Ansi. There are quite a few new yarns that I haven't seen out before at Joann's and I'm very excited to show you today. I also showed some kits that I will link down below that I found at Joann's and I still have brand new boy hook reviews, uh, resin hook and a built up grippy thing that I have not seen before. Joann's finally finished their um, hook reset in their yarn accessories aisle. And I cannot wait to share it with you. Ooh, it's the world of brown. Baffles me why they do like this very, very similar browns together. I'm like, can we not have a more exciting color? I guess the color I'm most excited about in this group, if I had, was forced to pick one, would be the denim in the first one I showed. I like that denim color. Followed by that olive color in the first one. White. Well, DIY dyers, if it gets cheap enough, you could always dye that yourself. Okay, oops, sorry for my, whoa. Danger, danger, I slipped on the floor, sorry. Here's a slow scroll of this yarn. Which one's your favorite? Comment down below. Totally want to put those in my daughter's pigtails. Next one. Ooh, $14.99. Lion Spectacular. Um, 
This is going to be a hard pass for many reasons, which I shall tell you in a second. It's 63 yards. It's a jumbo seven. It's 52 polyester, 38 acrylic, 10% wool. Uh, it is roving to the point where it's like a two to a humongous amount. So that for me is a bit off putting. I'm not really sure which stitch to use with it. What stitch would you use with a yarn like this? Please comment down below and educate me. Because this is a bit too roving for my like. Also, see these pretty silver things? Okay, they're not coming off when I shake it, but watch this. I am barely freaking touching this. Ready? Boink, every single one I touched came out. No bueno, Lion Brand. This makes me think that this is not going to hold up through a wash. This is going to be a disaster. Up, oh, you're going to hear a beep for in a second. I'm making dinner. Beep. But I already added my tomato and beans to my rice, so moving on. Um, doesn't make me feel like it's going to stand up. I'm not really sure what I would use this for. It's got wool in it, so I can't give it to someone who has an allergy. Uh, looks really pretty. Once you touch it, it starts falling apart. Big problem. Has anybody else used this spectacular yarn? Uh, it's not spectacular enough to get me to spend $14.99 on it, that's for sure. I am going to show you the swatch in a second that's on the shelf, and it looks bonkers weird. You're going to see. I'm sorry I'm not reading all these names off. Feel free to do that at your leisure. All the colors. Uh, one thing it did have going for it, it did have an interesting color palette. I have to give them that. But not helpful on a yarn I don't want to use. Okay, that's what it looks like. That, to me, just reads crochet frustration. This blue is pretty nice, though, I must say. What do you guys think? Anybody delved into the uh, spectacular yarn here? What's the opposite of spectacular? Awful? Horrendous? Pointless? Unusable? Sorry if I'm being a little bit too blunt for you, but that's just how I feel about this. I would not recommend buying this. And the sale price is $12.99. No, thank you. Okay, moving on to yarns I liked more. <laughs> uh, this is Big Twist Freelance 206 yards, 100% premium acrylic. And it is doo -doo 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 -doo, a four weight. And skeins per project. I always wonder if that's knit or crochet. Anybody know the answer to that? These are a very nice fall color palette. Um, if you'd like to see more of my Shop With Me's of fall 2021 yarns, I will put my complete playlist down below. You can see all of the yarns that I have found in store this year for the new releases. This is the color Turquoise Orange Multi. Oh, big twist, phoning in the, the names again on the yarn. I hate that personally. That's just me. Wish people would be a little bit more creative. Some of these colorways did remind me of vintage yarn. Or, whoops, sorry, again, cooking. I apologize. The life of a mom is the life of a multitasker. These all did have the same off-white yarn base to start with here. And then they obviously died over that. Now, for those that are interested, I am making some pesto mozzarella, pesto fresh mozzarella and tomato chicken bake with a tomato, bean, and onion rice. Nom, nom, nom. Ooh, very pretty. This definitely makes me want to make a hat and cowl set for a man for Christmas. I don't know why, just what it reads to me. Projects for January. That's what this one says. Hmm. What has been your favorite fall 2021 yarn that you have come across this year? Let me know in the comments down below. I have to think about that for myself. Okay, this is the other one. This is Big Twist Arcade. This is a roving style. Um, these are on sale for $5.99 as of, I think that was last week at this point. Sorry, mommy's been busy. This is a five weight. I did like the feel of this. I didn't have a problem with the other one either though. Ooh, hello peacock of my dreams. That just is like, yes, I love those colors. Look, the colors, Peacock. Good job, Big Twist. Good job. Peacock Multi. 
Ooh, that's very Sedona. Arizona Desert. Grand Canyon. That's what it reads to me. Hmm, also pretty. I like the olive with the gray there. Sorry if I'm not reading out all the color names. Mm, I'm not a big fan of that one. Less intriguing to me. Of these two, I'd say the one I'm most interested in is the roving style one, which is the arcade, I believe. Am I correct? Yes, the arcade. Looks much more interesting to me. Very, very exciting. Ooh, this is uh, mustardy. Okay, now here's a slow scroll. Peacock, hands down, my favorite color of that one. Hands down. Okay, Bernat Velvet Twist. Uh, these were pretty colors, I have to say. This is... Doo -dee -doo. Find the information. 229 yards or 209 meters. 100% polyester and it's a five weight. Uh, for those of you that have been on this channel for a while, this is Midnight Teal. I do not like blanket yarn. I don't like the worm action that it produces. But hey, this is really pretty. I'd say this is a close second to the ombre. Or not blanket ombre that they put out uh, earlier in the fall. I did like that. I have to try this rice and see if it's cooked or not. Ooh. Gothtastic on that one. Love it. Love the different grays and the black together. Maroon. This is maroon. You know, a couple more minutes on the rice. Ooh, but that is tasty, my friends. I am happy with myself. Mmm, that's pretty too. I like to make a big, huge pot of rice and have it, at first, be minimally seasoned. Sorry, off track from the yarn, but I start with a, a big, huge can of crushed tomatoes, and I separate the crushed tomatoes from the tomato juice, and I use that to put into the cooking liquid for the rice. I also sauteed some onions on first, then I sauteed the rice and butter. Okay, so here we have an overview of the Bernat Velvet. Okay, Bernat Macrame. Hmm. First time I've seen a major yarn company foray into macrame yarn that I can remember. This is by Yarn Inspirations. It's five millimeter. And you can tie this yarn on a stick. This is a six. 100% mixed fibers, recycled cotton, polyester, viscose, and acrylic. 8.8 .8 ounces. Not a lot of yards. This is gray-brown. These colors were very meh. $7.99 on sale. I believe these were $9.99 regular price for like 40-ish yards, which I found rather high. That is the color natural. Um, here in New England, you're frequently going to find the company Bonnie um, that creates macrame cord. And they are much cheaper per, for the yardage you get. That's taupe. And then look at these ones hiding down here. Okay, I hope you had fun in this uh, shop with me at Joann's. And let me know down below which one you would like to try most. And please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn how to be affordably crafty too. And have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.